Hello fellow resellers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. I am back, second video, second day in a row, very happy about that. Um, and today I have a Goodwill outlet, Goodwill bins haul for you guys. And it was a great day for bread and butter brands, but I'm really trying to focus on like also including more higher dollar inventory into my store as well, kind of marry the two concept of being volume and also higher price items. So I went to a regular Goodwill on my way home. I ended up buying um, one item there that I felt like I could flip for like a good enough price. My Goodwills are like minimum $6 for everything. So, you know, you kind of be, have to be a little bit selective. And then I went to a TJ Maxx and I bought an item there. So I definitely spent a little bit too much time sourcing today, but I was really focused on trying to find at least one higher dollar item to sell today. Um, but I did find that at TJ Maxx, which was exciting. So definitely wasn't super time efficient today. It's about to be 6 p.m. It's like 5 45 right now. I am tired. So I made a venti iced coffee and I got a lot of stuff. I have to, well, I'm filming this and then I have to hang it, steam it, photograph it, edit the photos, list it, and then cross list it. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a day, but I'm excited. So um, this will get me through the night. And honestly, like, I, the only reason I kind of, like, took a big chunk of my day out is when I came home, I ended up taking my dog to the dog park. Um, by the time I got home, it was, like, three, then I took him outside, because he had been locked up for six hours. Well, not locked up, but he's not, he's not in a crate. He's free roam, but, you know, he's been sleeping for six hours. I take him outside, and it's, like, I know it's his hyper time. He's a husky, so he's naturally just a really hyper dog. So, I was, like, okay, let's go to the dog park for an hour, wipe you out. So, um, I just took him to the dog park and we were there for about an hour he's eating dinner now and um I don't know how like m like mothers are resellers because like I can barely do it with the dog so if you have children you're a reseller like all the more power to you I don't know how you do it how you handle your time management like you must like be you're just crazy like I don't know like I can barely time manage myself and all I have is myself and a dog so uh, more power to you if you are a mother and you're also a reseller um so yeah let's get into this haul that I have here so I can just get to processing it so again at the bins I had a lot of bread and butter inventory I did look up comps on literally every single thing that I pulled out and I looked I, I pulled a lot of stuff out of the bins if, even if it wasn't necessarily something I was interested in but I thought it had like an interesting tag um I was really trying to just look up everything because you never know sometimes those brands that go for a higher dollar amount you would just never know based on the tag so I really try to look up a lot of stuff and yeah this is what I ended up with so the first item we have on here is by the brand Nike these are a size large and they are just these like um they kind of feel like swim trunks they're just these black swim trunks recently I went to the bins and I got a pair of like Nike swim trunks I think they're a size XL and they sold for $25 very quickly so um I was excited to find these I think I could sell those for $25 as well granted the other ones were new with tags so I think I started them at 30 they sold for 25 these ones since they're not new with tags I'll probably start at 25 next item I got is by LL Bean and this is a size small and these are um just like these uh, nylon pants I looked up comps on these as well I think I can get about $20 for them so I will probably price them at 25 because I always send 20% off um, offers to likers or offers to watchers so if I'm expecting to sell it for 20 I want to price it 20% above that so there we go we have those the next item I got is very like vintage y2k um, 90s deep pop girl vibes the tag doesn't really matter but they're just like these black pants there are these pinstripe pants. They have a little bit of a flare to them. And they also have this cool little belt detail here. These are a size small, I believe. Yep, they are a size small. And these are just like really cute, like I said, deep pop girl vibes. The next item I got is a Vera Bradley tote bag or like duffel bag. And I don't really sell too much Vera Bradley, but because this hat is in really great condition, there's no flaws on it. And, um, it's a duffel bag. I felt like maybe you could sell it at a higher price point. I looked up comps on this and I think I can sell it for around $25, which I would be very happy with. So we have that. The next item I picked up are by the brand The North Face, which is really not that common of a brand for me to find in Florida. And these are um, just gray running shorts. Like any like outdoorsy brand, like Cool, Patagonia, The North Face, I really don't find them all that often. So I do get excited when I find them, even though these are just running shorts. I think these are another ones that I could probably get $20 for, so I will price them at $25. They're just a men's XL and they're in really great condition. 
The next item I picked up, I kind of try to separate my 25 and above price point items in this bag and my $18 items in this bag because I really wanted to like count while I was there how much I'm getting of each price range um, because I'm really trying to have obviously the majority of my listings. Like I want to list 20 to 25 items a day and I would like a majority of those to be the $25 items and just like have a handful of the $18 items. Um, so yeah. The next item I got are, these are Eddie Bauer. These are a size 38 by 32, and they are the, like, technical, what is it? The, oh yeah, the convertible tech pant. And they are just these nice black outdoorsy pants. They zip off at the knee. They're in really great condition, and um, I feel like these could do well. So we shall see how those go. The next item I got, I'm not going to lie, I did not look up comps on. This is one of the few items I did not look up comps on. Um, but these are Young, Fabulous, and Broke. They're a size medium, and they are just these, like, green, kind of, like, bohemian front slip pants. Definitely need to be steamed. Um, this brand, like, if I was in a thrift store, if I was paying, like, more than $2 for these, I would definitely want to look up the style. But because I got them at the bins, I didn't look up the style. But the reason I say if you're at, like, a regular Goodwill and they have them priced, say, like, $5.99, that's what they price my pants for, I would definitely want to look these up because Young, Fabulous, and Broke is a brand that was heavily sold at TJ Maxx and Marshalls within the past couple of years. So you want to make sure you're getting a piece that isn't, like, heavily, <laughs> isn't overly saturated on the resale market, especially new with tags. Um, but the bins, I could be a little more lazy. Actually, I was so good with looking everything up until, until I didn't, until, until the end. Honestly, there was a drama at the bins today, a drama at the bins. Okay, so I go to the bins and, you know, you park your cart and I have um, this bag here. I put it on my shoulder. I grab my stuff in it. I throw it in my cart. I go back out there. So I have my second bag of stuff. So my cart is already filled with inventory. And I had an extra bag in there. Actually, this is the bag that was in my cart. And this other bag over here is on my shoulder. I go to dump my bag in my cart, but my cart's gone. Missing. Where is it? Don't know. So I'm looking around the cart and this lady stole my cart and she's like full on putting her stuff in my cart on top of the inventory I had already pulled out of the bins. And I went up to her and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like there must be like a misunderstanding. Like this is my cart. And she was like, no, this is my cart. And I was like, no like this is my cart and she was like and I was like I pulled these items out of the bins and she was like no I pulled them out of the bins and so I, I pulled this bag out of the cart and I said oh you pulled this out of a bin I was like because I brought it in from my car and she was like whatever we resolved it and I got my cart back and she took her stuff out but yeah drama with the bins drama and I am so not a confrontational person so that whole situation gave me anxiety to be honest um, the next item we have is by the brand Gotex, which it's like a swimsuit brand. This is not like a brand I actively pick up. Honestly, I really didn't even care what the brand was. I just thought this was such a cool, interesting, like, swimsuit cover-up. I was just absolutely obsessed with it. It is so fun. It's like this indie, bohemian, like, I was just absolutely obsessed with this swim cover-up. So I picked it up. I honestly didn't look up comps on it, but I'm certain it will sell. Okay, this is not going to show you just yet because that's a matching, has a matching piece to it. Um, the next item I picked up is this, uh, let's see, this is by Separates by New York City. Design code doesn't really matter. It's a size 2X. I picked this up based on style. It's very like 90s, a Y2K, like it has a little flared sleeve. It's sheer. It's a button front. It has a crinkle to it lots of 90s y2k keywords to use with this and it's plus size i especially find when you find like these kind of one-off items like these 90s y2k pieces especially in plus size they tend to sell really well because plus size girls want the y2k style too and a lot of vintage clothes that people pick up to resell are smaller so it definitely pays off to pick up plus size 90s y2k i actually got another 90s y2k and i'm actually it's right here i'll show you this right now the next 90s Y2K item I got is also plus size, is by the brand Elaine Bryant, um, and this is a 26 to 28W, and it is just a sheer long sleeve button down shirt, again, just kind of gave me the similar vibes. This one's definitely more 90s Y2K than this one, but they're similar vibes. The next item I picked up is by the brand Tommy Bahama. And this is their newer current label. And it is kind of like a shacket type of flannel stripe button down. And it is missing two buttons on it, but it does have two extra buttons here, which is why I picked it up because 
I could just sew them back on and yeah so this one probably won't be listed today because I do want to sew those buttons back on um but yeah I got this jacket and then the last item in this bag is a, a blazer and it is by Jules and Leopold which is a brand that's sold in TJ Maxx so it's not necessarily the best brand to be picking up for resale but it is one of those cute little trendy um career wear pieces and it's also a size extra large again if this was a size extra small wouldn't really pick it up but because it's, it was an XL I decided to get it and this one I'll probably price between 23 to 25 I would imagine um and kind of see what happens from there now we are moving into our other bag the first item I'm pulling out is this puzzle that I bought um this is sealed I mean the ceiling is seal is kind of ripped um, but it hasn't been used. It's brand new. It is a Gray Malin puzzle. So Gray Malin is a photographer and um, I have sold Gray Malin like he's done collaborations with clothing brands before or he or she. Not sure um, who the uh, photographer is. I've never seen a picture of them so I don't know which like anyway. Um, so I have seen stuff that he's um, or she has uh, done with like other clothing brands where they've licensed their pictures out and done like collaboration pieces. So and they've sold really well. So I was excited to see this puzzle. I think I can sell this for about $20 based on comps. So I'm happy with that. I'm always trying to experiment in other categories. This I picked up for myself because I can't go to a thrift store without buying something for myself. And it just says a half baked harvest every day. Recipes for balanced, flexible, feel good meals by Tegan and Gerard. And I'm excited. I'm excited. It's just like a cute little cookbook. The next item I have, this is also, well, actually, this is for my boyfriend. It's just a thing like that. And now we're back into the clothes. Um, next I have these are, this is kind of my, I think I'm going to price it around $18 bag. Um, or at least, I mean, some of it maybe will be priced higher, but I think majority of it will be priced in the $18 range. Um, here we have these loft pants. These are just kind of like these mauve pink orange crinkled pull-on pants um they are loft not really the best brand but i picked them out because they were a high rise straight straight leg pants are super in right now so i felt like it was a more current style super cute for work it's a comfortable workwear right it's a pull-on pant so i think that it could perform well the next item I picked up is Traveler's Chico's. I love selling Chico's Traveler's. Now this isn't the traditional like acetate that um, Chico's Traveler's is normally made out of. This is made, I don't even know what this is made out of to be honest, I don't see the care tag. But um, yeah, it is a cool little printed piece and I have had really great success with Chico's Traveler's. Again, we'll see how that does because it's not made out of the acetate and that's usually what I sell, but we shall see. Next, I have a White House black market dress. This is definitely their older label. It is 100% silk and it is a size 12. So yeah, I just got it. I thought it was like a cute little cocktail dress. It's silk. We shall see how it performs. This the next item I picked up, it was one I was kind of debating on because it, I don't think I'm going to get very much for it. It is by the brand Torrid, um, but it's just like this leopard little basic tank top. I'll just price it at $18 and see what happens. Um, but I do have good success with Tori. Even if I don't get a ton for it, I feel like it's definitely going to have a good turnaround time. Okay, here is the second piece. So I can show you the set now. So I bought this lingerie set from Victoria's Secret. So we have this like garter, I don't know, garter belt situation. And then we have the matching bra. So we have the whole set. So the first thing I pulled into my cart was the bra. And then I found the garter set, so that is super exciting. I'm not really sure what I can get for this because I've never really had a matching set before. Um, this is a size 34A, and this is a size medium large. Hmm. Does that go together? I don't know. But I'll be selling it as a set. We shall see how much I can get for it. Um, but yeah, there's a matching cute little lingerie set. This is another piece I was debating on, but I seem to have more souls than listed. That's why I ended up like going for it and getting it. But this is by the brand FLX um, Urban Commuter. And this is just a cute little tank dress. It is a size extra small, but it's just a nice little dress. And it has like a zipper on the side. I'm not sure why, but it zips up on the side somewhere. The hem. Oh, here it is. The hem has like a hidden zipper and it like zips. So it could be like a skirt with a slit or a dress with a slit on it. I don't really know. Um, but yes, yeah, it doesn't seem to sell for a whole ton. Like I think I'll probably price it around like $18 to $20. But again, it does seem to um, have more solds than listed, which is great. Meaning it has a good sell for rate. The next item I picked up, oh, this is definitely an over $25 item. 
Um, this is by the brand Armani Collezioni, and these are just like men's trousers uh, pants. And these are, what are they? They are a size 40. And I don't know exactly what the material is. I'll have to do more investigating, but I'm sure you guys don't really care to watch me investigate. The next item I picked up is a gold t-shirt, and this is by the brand Saks Fifth Avenue. Again, this is just kind of one of my $18 finds that I threw in here because why not? Um, next we have the thing is, like, yes, I want more 20, like, I want to have 20, $25 or more listings. And then the $18 items are just kind of extra for me. Um, and the reason that is, is that way, like, I don't say, like, oh, I got 20 items, they're all $18 items. You know what I mean? Like, they have to meet a certain criteria. Um, but I do pick up the $18 items because I'm not going to leave money behind. So I know they're going to sell. So that's kind of, like, why I do that. A sports bra. This is Aerie. This is Offline by Aerie. Just a cute little red sports bra. It is a size medium. Cute, cute. Um, Aerie, especially Offline Aerie, I feel like is really on trend right now. Next, we have uh, this, uh, like, older anthropology tank top. It is just kind of this, like, pinkish coral tank top with some pretty embroidery on it. I still pick up um, Older Anthropology. This is specifically the brand One September. I pick up Older Anthropology, stuff like that. I usually list it at $18 and it always sells. So yes, you can sell Older Anthropology, but you're just gonna have to sell it for a cheaper price. Obviously, if you pick up something more current, you can get more money for it. The next item I picked up, again, this was kind of my $18 bag. Um, this is a J. Crew Slub Cotton Tee and it's just kind of this cute little contrast striped t-shirt so very cute next i have um a pair of shorts i didn't know what the comps were really on these I honestly i didn't look these up i looked at most things i didn't look up these these are just a pair of billabong board shorts and i think there is definitely money in men's board shorts if we just pick them up at least they could be fast flips the next item I picked up are these Chico's pants, which I was really kind of debating on these, I'm not going to lie. These are a size 2 because I don't really have the best track record when it comes to Chico's pants. And I don't really love the print. I, why did I... Wait, so why did I get these again? Yeah, this is like Life of a Full-Time... They're 100% linen. Maybe that's why. This is Life of a Full-Time Reseller. Constantly guessing your decisions. Our second guessing your decisions. Okay, we have three items left and then we're gonna get into the stuff i got at regular goodwill so i have another pair of ll bean these are a size extra small and these are just kind of board shorts i looked up comps on these they do seem to have a decent sell through if i list them at the right price um and then i got this cute little bralette which i really am trying not to pick up like victoria's secret pink bralettes because i don't think they like necessarily perform the best unless you have a ton of them but this was the exception to the rule because they have crystals all over them so i feel like it's more unique more desirable like i feel like someone's willing to pay for this on poshmark right because it's unique and it's different but just a regular lace bralette by this brand you could probably go buy that right now from victoria's secret pink so why are you gonna buy it from me um so yeah we got this one because it's unique, it's different, it's cool. Plus, I feel like via Aries kind of taking over the VS Pink game. Like, not gonna lie. I don't, like, my niece, I don't hear her asking for VS Pink. I hear her asking for Aries. So, next we have an Old Navy dress, which breaks the Old Navy rules I told you about yesterday. I only pick up Old Navy. That's XL or above. I broke my own rule. Um, I caught this dress. It is a size medium. And it is just this long sleeve midi dress. It looks like this. And to be honest, the reason why I broke my rule and I bought this is because I had thrifted this old navy dress. It's a size, um, it doesn't matter what size it is. It's my size. And it was this cute little tank midi dress. And I absolutely love that dress so much. And I want it in like every single color. But old navy doesn't make it anymore. And um, I looked on Poshmark nobody's selling it because people don't really pick up old navy to resell but i want this dress i can't find it on the resale market and old navy doesn't make it anymore and this seems to be that same dress but long sleeve so you know what i know there's someone else like me who's like i need this dress old navy doesn't make it anymore well guess what girl you can get it from me um now we're gonna go over the stuff i got at tj maxx slash goodwill so I went to Goodwill, again, wanted higher dollar inventory. I felt like, you know, the stuff is all great bread and butter stuff, but nothing was really like, wow, I can list that for a lot of money. So I went, I picked up one item, and I picked up these Veronica Beard jeans. These are, well, they're not jeans, but you know, Veronica Beard jeans brand. Okay. These are just these kind of chino pants, and I think I can sell these 
for about $50. These are the, oh, Charlie Barrel Leg High Rise. I could have looked that up in store, but I didn't because I didn't know. Um, then, I think I'd probably get about $50 for this. Then I went to TJ Maxx. I spent $100 on one item, you guys. And those are a pair of sneakers. Here's my sneakers. Here's the sneakers I paid $99.99 for. And these are APL, which I knew was a really good brand. So I used my Google Lens. I looked them up and they have really good comps on them. Someone sold a size 10 of these, like exact shoes, a size 10 for $200. I paid 100 for them. So, I mean, like, once you calculate, like, cost of goods, right? Like, you calculate Poshmark fees. So, Poshmark takes 20%. Well, then I'm left with 160 I spent um, 100 on them. So, there you go. $60. $60 profit. So, you know, do you really want to turn $100 into a $60 profit? Like, usually when you spend $100, you want to double your money. But I felt comfortable taking them up because they're from TJ Maxx. I only bought one item. And if they don't sell within 30 days, I'm just going to return them. So no harm no foul um so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy i'm gonna go process all this inventory finish my coffee and be up to hopefully i get this all listed before midnight we shall see i do have an audiobook i can listen to um the current so i listen to an audiobook pretty much every day i work so i usually go through an audiobook every two days or one audiobook in a day it really depends how long the audiobook is because i've listened to so many that i've kind of like my ears are accustomed to it so i listen to them on two times speed um so if it's like an eight hour audiobook it takes me like four hours to listen to it you know like whatever the time is cut in half because i listen to it on double time um so the one i'm listening to right now is called how to sell a haunted house by grady hendrix and because i listened to about in january i listened to 14 audiobooks so i thought it'd be fun since i'm doing these daily hauls and the hauls by telling you the book i'm reading so this one's called how to sell a haunted house by grady hendrix it is a horror novel I would say Grady Hendrix does more comedic horror, but it is like a horror novel. I'm not like a big horror reader, okay? I'm more of like a romance girly or a mystery thriller girly. Um, and then fantasy as well, but I don't really listen to fantasy audiobooks. I more like physically read those ones. It doesn't matter. You're not here for books, but I do have a book channel. If you're interested, subscribe down below. Like I know I've been gone from this YouTube channel, but I actually been working on a second YouTube channel. Um, it's just called Megan Gaddis, my name. Hi, hello. And I just post a book content over there and I'm almost at 500 subscribers. So if you could go subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Um, and that's all about my reading because if you didn't know, I love to read and I read 24 books in January, 10 physical books, 14 audiobooks, and there you go. Um, yeah, if you're interested, go watch that channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!